Hey guys, this is Joshua and Eli from This Is Podcast, the show where we talk about whatever we want, whenever we want, and nobody cares. Hi, today we're doing our second of three parts of a tobacco review series. Without further ado, this is Pipe Smoking. Hey guys, hope you're having a beautiful day, and I hope you're rejoining us from watching the last video, which has been one of our more popular videos. Mm -hmm. So, if you watched the last video where we reviewed Say La Vie, thank you so much for your support, mm -hmm. and uh, if you're coming back, welcome. So, we are talking about a trio of tobaccos. Yep. Uh, John Bull, Say La Vie, and Aaron and Gobreau. A and Aaron Gobra. And right now they're on pipe and cigar for uh, four, they're four nine nine each. Mm -hmm. um, but right now they are running a buy two get one free sale. And there's of course three of them, so it's just probably the better idea to just get all three of them. You right. Know, for ten dollars, you can get fifteen dollars of tobacco. Um, but you know, what I just discovered is also there's a sampler. These three tobaccos and a pipe, a cabbie. Uh, actually, let me look right here. Uh, Casalero pipe. And that is twenty four ninety nine on pipe and cigar right now. And usually it's quite a bit more. Like you said, you said it's usually about seventy five dollars. I think is what you said. So. Right. So it's an excellent deal. You get yourself a pipe and these three tobaccos, uh, which is great for um, you know somebody who's just starting out or just for somebody who has been smoking for a while. Yeah. So and also it's a cool way to try new tobaccos, having a, a fresh pipe. That doesn't have a cake of other of the other tobacco flavors right. or anything like that. So right. So what are we what are we reviewing today? Today we are going to review John Bull. Um, as we said before, we did our last one on Say La Vie. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's 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 a it's a pretty good video. We will be smoking the John Bull today, which is a Royal English pipe tobacco. Its description is a proper English, combining bright Virginias and Burleys with a hint of black Cavendish and smoky Latakia. And this is right now on pipesandcigars.com, and that's right along the bottom here mm -hmm. for four ninety nine. Yep. So, or the buy two and get one free deal, or the Castellero deal. As long as those are going off. Castellero, deal, yeah. So, uh, but it normally it is four ninety nine. It does have, if you, if you, hopefully you can see it. If not, a lot of picture here. Um, well, actually, you would have seen the picture at the beginning of the video. Is uh, there is a little cute um, bulldog there? Yeah. <laughs> what, I, what I like about this is the inside of the package has a Union Jack. Oh, does it? I, 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 oh, that's pretty sweet. So Union you know, Jack with a within a Union Jack. I mean, there's a little Union. <laughs> a little it's shield. like Inception. It's a Union Jack within a Union Jack. Within a Union Jack. That's within a Union Jack. Actually, when you have this, when you smoke this, and you're in England, <laughs> it's Inception. It's Inception. <laughs> well, I I will give you the honors of opening this one. Okay. I open, yeah. No, no, I won't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> um, I opened the Say La Vie and had the first sniff. He's going to do the same thing here. Okay, so it's pretty tightly packed in there. It looks like it's ribbon cut. Don't okay. say don't say what you think it smells like. I haven't I haven't smelled it yet. Now this is a non-aromatic English blend. This is a non-aromatic. This is a traditional English one, which uh, comprises, of course, a lot of Kia's kind of one of the big things that make it an English blend. Mm, that's really good. It smells out. Uh, it's kind of strong, and now I, it, it does say it's. If I remember, so it's a bright Virginia. It's a proper English. It does smell like it's going to be strong, and I like a strong tobacco. That's actually why we we took a lunch break before we did this. We 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 had lunch because I did not want to smoke something that might be heavy on an empty stomach. So it's incredibly it's incredibly it, it's incredible you can smell all the different mm -hmm. you can smell the smokiness of the latakia in there um you can definitely smell those uh those burleys mm -hmm. and the cavendish and the virginias that are in there it is or at least touch wise the moisture is perfect it is perfect it is unlike the last one we opened the sea vie and it was really really wet um it was incredibly moist to the point where it you know it gives gave me some massive tongue bite and i was purposely pouring my pipe so that I would up towards the roof of my mouth, so I wouldn't get the tongue bite, and it still steamed up the inside of my mouth. So that that seems like a perfect. It's not too dry, not too wet. It's a nice ribbon cut. Um, you know, you can see all the different layers. Uh, we, we'll add a little picture here of the tobacco itself, but you can see all the. Uh, you know, you can see the 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 golds in there, and you can see the dark. Uh, uh, the Cavendish. The, the Cavendish and the dark Latakia. Um, 
you can just see all the different uh, tobaccos in there. They all, you know, they're all individual. You can see each mm -hmm. one. You can tell which one is which. It smells incredible. I can't wait to. Uh, I'm gonna pick out the, uh, the the Virginia. I don't like the Virginia. <laughs> pick out, pick pick out. out. Just, just eat past it. Smoke past it, Josh. <laughs> Smoke past the tomatoes. So let's uh, let's go ahead and pipe. Okay. Um, pipe here again. Like last time, I mentioned we are. Uh, he is. We are both going to be lighting. Lighting up. We are both going to be uh, starting our, our pipes with uh, Zippo lighters that actual have, actually have Zippo fluid in them. It is not Ronson or anything like that. Um, in case you, in case you're wondering, um, I'm smoking today my little forecaster. I, I will be honest, I know nothing about this pipe. I bought it. I got it for like six bucks in an antique mall. Um, I think the one here in town, if I remember correctly, is actually one of my favorite pipes. I, I, I call it my cigarello pipe. It is very small, as you can see. Um, it's really enjoyable, especially if you don't want to smoke too too long. It's, it's a real small bowl, um, so I, I really enjoy this. It's got this cute little stem. I'm not gonna take it off because actually, to keep the stem flat, uh, parallel with the ground, it I have to put string behind it, which is fine. Um, but I don't want to take a bucket because then the string might come off. But it is this cute little stem right here, and I really like this pipe. What are you smoking on today, Josh? I'm smoking my uh, Dr. Grabo Omega. Um, which was a gift from which was a gift from you. You, uh, <laughs> you yeah, it's, it's an estate pipe that you uh, you got me, and I was uh, very I, happy with. I enjoy estate pipes. I really do. I, um, I, I prefer. And you know, pipes. I I, uh, I love this is kind of my my style. I, I like a curved uh, uh, pipe. Well, you'd been talking about getting a curved pipe. You wanted a, a nice curved pipe for writing and and talking and stuff like that. Yes, yes. Because I I actually like that I'm able to clamp it and hold it in my mouth mm -hmm. and still do stuff still do stuff and be able to smoke. Little piece of trivia, in case you're wondering about pipe history, I guess, not history, but um, in the original Sherlock Holmes, live action Sherlock Holmes with uh, um, uh, Sir Christopher Lee, he uses a calabash pipe, which is not true to the stories of Sherlock Holmes. Anybody that knows Sherlock Holmes um, knows that he smoked a clay pipe. Um, but what they did, they gave him a calabash pipe because they're considered the most balanced pipes. And the 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 guy that was doing this, the propping, doing all the props and stuff like that, said it was most easy to balance in his mouth so he could talk and work with a, with a calabash pipe in his mouth. Right. Um, so I think that was just really interesting, a little tidbit there. And English, English. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so something I wanted to mention before we get to smoking this. This is made in Denmark by the uh, Scandinavian Tobacco Group. LNLTD, so that the LA, LA LTD, so all of these, all these are. are. Um, but it was just something we forgot to mention. I just want to throw that out there real fast. I want to put that up there with the other two. Excellent. So, uh, you ready to light up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, excellent. I already have something I want to say about it, but I'm gonna wait until I'm all ready to talk. Oh, there it is. Go ahead and uh, tell us a little bit about the room note while I'm lighting here. Um, it's a nice room note. It's not exactly uh. It, it's it's not bad at all. It's not like the we talked about the Sela V. The Sela V was a very nice room note, um, same as the Eric Red by Bjorn that we talked about last time. Um, I like the room note. It's very different. You can tell this is a very strong aromat, uh, non aromatic, not aromatic. It is a non aromatic, and it's a. I like the flavor. The first word that came to mind was toasty. It's kind of like a toast, not 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 necessarily bread, but. Toasty. Um, toasty is a is a great word for it. I know what you. I, I it, that's it's hard to, to put into words exactly what you mean by it. it's not bread toasty, but yes, it is a toasty sense. Both the room note and the flavor. Mm -hmm. um, now, here's my thing. I don't generally like dark tobaccos. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of lot of Kia. I don't really enjoy a lot of Kia, so I'm not usually too bad. There's a lot of Kia oh. in tobaccos. Um, I'm not usually a guy. I'm not usually into. I'm having a hard time keeping my pipe lit. Uh, I'm not usually into 
dark tobaccos. I'm not usually into a lot of Kias, and therefore I'm not really a huge smoker of English blends mm. because those are kind of the hallmarks of English, you know, of an English blend. This is one right off the bat, a very English blend. Yeah, and you know what's funny is that actually I'm drinking English uh, English tea time tea from Bigelow. And it actually goes really well with that. As soon as I realized that my tea was still here, I was like, damn, this actually goes well together. I think I will actually buy more of this. I straight off, I know we we talk we'll talk about that later, but I think I will actually buy more of this tobacco so I can have this tobacco is perfect for me so far, it's my favorite to smoke with tea. And I I'm just trying it for the first time. My little cigarette pipe does not settle it well. I know you're having problems, you said, but I'm no, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm okay now. You know, this is a very English blend, but I actually kind of like this. I really like it. I actually kind of like this. I'm not, I do not like English blends as a rule of thumb. It's just my personal, my personal preference. Um, Got but some I, there. <laughs> I actually do like this. Now I wouldn't smoke this all the time, but I would, I would smoke this at, at, at night, at the end of the day. You see, I'm the opposite. I, I, as I was saying with tea, I like to wake up when I when I can wake myself up early in the morning. I like to have a nice cup of tea and a smoke, and I think I'll, I'll always I'll, I may stick with this. Actually, I really enjoy what I'm getting from this. I really enjoy what I'm getting from this. This is really very good, and I'm not I'm not like I said I'm not an English smoker. I'm not an English packet smoker, but this is a uh, this is incredible. I would actually smoke this in. Now this is a very medium to medium dark. Yeah, medium, medium dark. I was gonna say it's not light, but it's not it's not the heaviest I've ever smoked. No, by any means. In fact, uh, McClellan's Frog Frog Morton, just the regular Frog Morton. Some people coined the name Frog on the Log because it actually has Frog Morton sitting on a log in the picture, right, on the front. Is probably one of the heaviest tobacco, and that's not even that too too heavy. But it's definitely that medium dark, ugly, really dark range. So. Now what's interesting is I am getting, I am getting, I think that toasty that we we talked about is coming from the burly. Mm -hmm. Because now that I'm taking some of it in, I'm tasting that burly, the nuttiness and toastiness of the burly. Mm -hmm. But you can tell, it's, it's slightly bright from the Virginia. It is very bright actually. It's bright and dark at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's well, a well balanced, that's what it is, it's a well balanced blend. It's very well balanced because now, and then you have that balance on the other side with the lot of Kia. So, um, I would say a very English blend. If you are a, if you like English blend, buy this tobacco. This is definitely worth having. Um, it's really a very nice quality, very very good smoking tobacco. It's, it's very cheap. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not harsh. I think that might be part of the problem. I think that most English tobaccos are very harsh. This is very smooth. I don't. I I I just overall I really like it. I think I will. Will you buy it again? I mean, you're talking about buying the Sailor V again just because you want to have a, a care, one to carry in your bag. I would carry that in my bag. In like a day bag or something. I'm very tempted to buy it again. I, I, think, very, I, I would be I, very tempted to buy it again. I really again, think I will. Yeah, these pouches are nice for carrying in the bag. Of course, mm -hmm. those are the tens, but um, I, I might buy it again. I would definitely smoke it. Like I said, I, this would be a night smoke for me. Um, so... Yeah, I probably would buy it again. I don't know under what circumstances. Yeah, well, wonder what circumstances exactly I, think I would buy it again. This, I would buy more. Um, yeah, post more post than anything, I'd probably just bomb it off you. <laughs> so, see how it is. okay. So, final final thoughts on this. I'm gonna buy it again. Um, final thoughts. It, it is. A, I would. I prefer it over the Sailor V. Um, that's for sure. Don't get me wrong. I like the Sailor V, but it, it was one of the lesser tobaccos I've had before, in my opinion. And this is a, this is for a pouch tobacco, which, as we said before, is usually kind of downcast as not a good tobacco or not a non artisan tobacco. is incredibly good to me um, as a pouch tobacco. Now, not my favorite, but I will say, of the different England English blends I've tried, that is that is my favorite. It takes the money. Um, takes the euros. So you know, if you if you yeah, you know, if you are a if you are a lover of English pipe tobaccos. You know, I would definitely say give it a try. 
if you are, you know, maybe not sure. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, this would be a great way to introduce yourself to English tobaccos. If you're like, yeah, I've not really tried them, never really tried an English blend, this is the way to start. I really like the Vumno. It's almost like musty. I just got a good whiff, like not on a bad. A, a touch, yeah. It's it's kind of a musty, like when you walk into somebody's house and they've smoked pipes for years and years and years in one room, and you go in that room and you're like, oh wow, yeah, it's there it tobacco, is. Yeah. I mean, that's, it smells just that gorgeous blend of, oh, right off the wood. That's where that smoked a lot of key, I think, might come in. It's actually in the room note. When you're around, a, like, a wooden structure that's had smoke in it for a long time, mm -hmm. smoking in it, and you can smell it just coming out of the wood. wood right. That's kind of what it makes me think of. Like, I mean, maybe being in a cabin and smoking in a cabin. There's a lot of moisture in the air. Mm, right. And it, it just, I get that sense from it. I would, I would love to smoke this in a cabin. I would love, yeah, I would love with, 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 with tea. With tea. I haven't had it. I did not have my coffee. I haven't tried with coffee. I really wanted to not mix my drink with mine. Oh, but this is a, po to me, this is a perfect blend. It really is. My tea's getting cold because this was from the podcast a little bit ago that we filmed, so. So any final thoughts or you want to sign us out? I'll sign us out. Until next time, I'm Eli. I'm Joshua. And this, this is, is Pipe Smoking. smoking. Oh, hello there. It's Joshua. Did you like today's episode? Go ahead and give us a little love and uh, hit the like button. It's just that little thumbs up right below. Also, subscribe and don't forget to comment. We want to hear what you think about today's episode. Don't forget to share with your friends and check us out on Facebook at This Is Podcast. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I have a little Sherlock Holmes to read. <laughs>